the business of the day for the elite when you're coming to take your freedoms away. Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. We're over here at Facebook with uh, some information I just came across that is just outstanding, and I wanted to make sure I share it with you. I know a lot of you aren't on Facebook, but there'll be other ways to support this effort. Um, and it's nice to see our military, former military, standing up to this current corrupt and illegal regime that's now in control of our country. Uh, we all know about, you know, the recent marches and people are starting to come together. And anyway, let me read this to you. Uh, open letter to the Department of the Interior from Senior Chief Ross, U.S. Navy, retired, to the Director of the Department of the Interior, feedback at ios.doi.gov. You have declared war on the American people and all veterans across this great nation. Shame on you bastards for locking down the parts of the United States from us free Americans. We will not tolerate this communist assault on our nation. Effective immediately, any barricades erected will be torn down. Any roadblocks to our national parks and monuments and memorials will be removed and or torn down. This is not your property to be locked down. This is the property of each state and the people of the United States who reside in the Constitutional Republic, not a democracy as you call it. It certainly does not belong solely to a communist son of a bitch in the White House. Can you read my lips at 0900 hours tomorrow morning, all barricades and roadblocks erected by the communist forces at the National Park Service, working under orders of the self-declared dictator Barry Satoro, a.k.a. Barry Hussein Obama, will be removed from the World War II memorials at Washington, D.C., right? retired Navy, U.S. Navy SEALs, Delta Force, and U.S. Army Rangers. I do not recommend you interfere in this military evolution. Tomorrow morning we will set up a PA speaker system at the World War II Memorial and will announce our terms for your surrender to the American people. This will be led by Captain Larry Bailey, U.S. N Navy SEAL Team 6, Retired Special Operations Speaks. Don't piss this man off. I am stuck at the airport, unable to get a flight to D.C., so I'm coordinating from the bunker. Don't piss me off either. I've had enough of you a-holes in Washington. We will ensure safe passage of all World War II veterans to their memorial and all memorials across the United States. Also, the Florida Bay, which is state-owned waters in Key West, has been illegally confiscated by the Communist forces and the federal government, and all fishing has been denied. Effective immediately, we'll, we will ignore this order from the White House, and we will soon have 1,000 fishing boats fishing in these waters. Do not interfere, Communist forces, or we will defend ourselves as, as per the Constitution. You figured out which amendments which may require your reading said document probably for the first time. The Department of the Interior website lists climate change as a threat to our planet. This is total bull, and I suggest you remove it before a hacker does. Be advised that we are not going to tolerate this communist attack on our country anymore. I would suggest you stand down before we put you down using all legal means under the Constitution. Senior Chief Jeff Ross, U.S. Navy, retired, Nevada, Florida. Join our fight, and I'll link you to the Facebook page. Uh, much love, many thanks. There's the message. Uh, get involved. Stay vigilant. Take this country back and uh, start anew. I'll see you soon.